Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Today we start exploring new worlds, so buckle up and get ready and I'll be with you in a moment. Oh god! <laughs> you like him? Okay, so he is a chronicler. I do like those types. <laughs> okay. Why all of a sudden does Karth want to talk? Is right here like a talking spot? Yes, what's on your mind? I don't know, man. What's on your mind? Don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. You've been very quiet lately. You know that. Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just love me. Left what? You've been with me the whole time. You were bored out of the loop. Um. I'm not the one leaving you out of the loop, Karth. No, well, you certainly aren't helping matters any either. And it's really starting to... <laughs> what? Am I supposed to babysit you? The Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me... If you were with me! me. Your concern, Karth. And you would do well to leave the matter be. I respect you, Bastila, but you've been as closed-mouthed as the rest of the Council. If you won't talk to me, then maybe somebody else will. He wants. He doesn't want me to hunt a beast that could kill me. He was warning me about the existence of such a beast. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> Karth is more an <laughs> Um. They thought it was more important that I help find the star maps than stay. And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they don't they have to train you? They said there's a bomb between Bachelor and myself. Hi, Kaden! <laughs> you mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? Huh. I have trouble believing that. Your neophyte Padawan has been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. Um... Are you saying I'm not needed? No, I don't... I didn't mean that you weren't wanted or that I want to go. It's just... Damn it. Well, I'll tell you this much. I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. Okay. I'm not going to betray. I love how there's asterisks. I'm not Saul. Yeah, we'll just see about that one. Look. Get out! Go away! I want to get to Saul. Not. No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's. Why are you so angry all the time? He's so angry. <laughs> oh my god. I know, right? Like, if a man was waving his gun around, his guns around with that tone of voice at me in real life, I'd probably punch him in the throat and run. Like, <laughs> and then kick him in the balls, and for good measure. I did want to go on the ship, if I could. Can I go on the ship? Oh, there we go. Oh, I can walk around in this shit. I've not actually been in here. How's it going? Yeah, what do you want? What do you want? Can you give me some Madrid instead of my lids? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, blah, blah. Well, more war stories, gay. You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting <laughs> What? This guy! <laughs> Your stagnant I have a crush on him. Some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the outer rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. What? Oh, because you ate you, you ate them all? <laughs> what do you mean? If a world isn't strong enough to defend itself, it's basically forfeit. But this story is about something a little different. We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main Punch him with love. Okay, that's actually how I communicate love, to be honest. Frozen methane gas shells. 
and the pirates were using them. Like if I really like somebody, I punch him in the arm. I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. In a picosecond. It blew out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. But that was a mistake. Ooh. The backfire? The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most, maybe a dozen meters on the side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other. Just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it. Something inactive. Ooh, this is cool. The heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside that. Uh, what happened next? It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After <coughs> a second, it started spraying fire. Whoa! Thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. Wow. That was just you in the asteroid. All right, a we ship. We couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. The flu but medication is good stuff. Oh galaxy, no. We abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. That's oh the wow. Only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else you want to know? Right? Sometimes it's funny to think about the voice actors telling these stories, like, in the studio. Reapers Beyond the Void. I can't- Larry's, like, drunk on flu medication. That's- that's what's happening here. Do you- nothing more for now. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Alright, thank you, sexy Mandalorian. I have a crush on every single Mandalorian. It's fine. Let's see, who do we have? Cargo hold. Swoop hanger. Is there anything else in here? Nope, just a swoop, okay. A small ship. What's this? I like this ship, I like it a lot. I like how dirty and stuff it is. I like how worn out it looks. I like it, I like it, like it, like it. Supplies. A store of emergency food and supplies. Oh, okay. I can store stuff in here? Why is he angry? He's Mandalorian. That's exactly why he's angry. He's Mandalorian. They're mercs. Just big old mercs. Is this like a bedroom? Core quarters. Where is everybody? Mandalorians are mercs. Oh, hey, here's everybody. Like, all they do is fight. They're like, they're basically Spartans. Yeah, warrior tribes. Can you construct a programming spike for me? Oh, thank you. Um, kind of a problem. Ooh, Kayuk, nice. Make me a grenade. Okay, thank you. Bye. It takes so long to talk to Wookiees. Hiya. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before in the Grove. It was wrong of me. Hmm. You thought the dark side had consumed you. It is nothing. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes and in my own. You know, she looks like a, uh, vi uh, like a vi I'm reading Stone Smith's comment. Cat Jack, it is Cat Jack. 
The Vikings, you know, that's kind of what it is. Plunder and farm. That's exactly what Mandalorians are. Uh, do not worry, Juhani, I forgive you. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me. Even she doesn't look like a cat, though. No. She's not furry. In our time journeying together, I will succeed. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? In chat? What is it you would like to speak to me about? How did you become a Jedi? How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to hear? Yes. Well, it goes back Story time. a couple of years. Back on my home world, we did not see Jedi very often, especially where I lived. Where do you live? The hind end of space. <laughs> the pit of a world, to be sure, where Jedi rarely tread. But we had heard of them. Well, everyone had. So that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth. Defenders of justice. Heroes of the... She'll stab me in the back. It no, I love her. It was easy for a child to be enthralled by their image. Their mystique. Maybe I was one of those children. I want to play the MMO so bad, actually. Um, how'd you gain interest of the Order? When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was old, and maybe a little enamored. Uh, imagination can be a dangerous thing. But from that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi, to lift myself out of the rut I had been in lives. and to make a real difference as the Jedi were. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child, but this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I thought they only accepted young I had children. Been my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came, although. I oh my gosh, me. let's see what Seshu what and Seshu has made. Suited to the task. Otherwise I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come. There is much we should do. Let us not waste Oh time. my gosh. Action is what is needed. <sighs> How may I uh, what is it? You're doing alright? I, I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit shaken. Uh, what's wrong? I have been thinking about myself, about Kotra, and about my fall to the dark side. I keep thinking that it was my anger that drove me that far, that nearly damned me. But I look inside myself now and I can still see it. I still feel it. Uh, perhaps you just need more time. More time would do me good. Time to distance myself from that anger. I think that is yeah, why the yeah, council yeah, is like. I think perhaps that in your company, I will be able to free myself from it. Mm. I cannot afford to look after you all the time, Johnny. I do not come here begging for scraps from you. I will earn my way with you. You will see just how valuable I am. Aha! Not super embarrassing. You're live on Twitch. People gotta know. They gotta know. Engine room cockpit. What? <laughs> Whoa, hi. Hi, here I am. Okay. At her side on the trail of the dark side. Oh. Buttons. Uh, cancel. Um. Yes, what's on your mind? How angry you yeah. are? Trail? On the trail of the dark side. How can I help? Talk about that dream? It was less of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly with. Whoa. 
I think we already asked these. Do you need a little With luck, we will. Oh boy. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us, but when we have so little else. Save! Alive, Save! The galaxy hangs in the balance. The train at the dark side's good too. As you wish. We really should re Shave. Shave. Kill the ship. No, why, why, why? Ansel, what? Ansel got angry at me. Kill everyone on the ship and you'll be rewarded. Galaxy map. How do I click on, oh! Yavin. Okay, Shaq. Dantween. Manan. Korriban. Tatween. That's the point. <laughs> With the key to the train of the dark side. What? What? We have been derailed. <laughs> We've been derailed by this, by the dark side train. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um what was I thinking? I was I was thinking Uh because we were fighting droids. Where are we going? Tatooine? Tatooine. Travel. Wow, uh thanks. Thanks for the notification, computer. I what are you get off. Go away. <laughs> what the heck? Yay! Millennium Falcon! Knock off. Thanks, Windows! Thomas the Sith! <laughs> there's, there's Sith here. Oh, this is a ship. They followed us! Maybe. Lord Malik, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity. Never mind, Far okay. Our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Darth Carl Nassi, Thomas, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malik. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness. Uh, Malik could be pretty hot. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kahlo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila. For Look at the way he's standing. He's super buff. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kahlo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive he me. He needs an apprentice. Us. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kahlo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malik. No! No! Please, stop! Wait, is it? Tatooine is oh, crap. but glowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. 
He like tabbed it out, sort of. Mm, looked like it was inside. Maybe, maybe Tatooine was all in the desert. Perhaps, though that would have been tens of thousands of years in the past. Now there's nothing but the howling emptiness of the Dune Sea. The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Okay, store in town has the companion. Remind me of like uh, the Ray stuff. What's this room? How do I get out of my ship? How do I get out? Hiya. Okay. What do you mean? Oh, uh, I looked at it, but I didn't do anything. Oh, okay. I mean, all right. Is it... Where is it? Jeez. Um... Ansel gone. I don't blame me. I'll probably be done soon. I just want to go check out. I want to go see who this companion is. Strangely, the Pusor seems to have been disturbed recently. No one in the party would have done this, so there must be some sort of other explanation. Examine the supplies more closely. There are no half-eaten torn packages to indicate the type was from pests or vermin. Looks more like some unknown person has been conducting clandestine raids on your stores. We have an invader! We have a stowaway! We have a stowaway! Whoever the thief is, they've managed to avoid detection by you or your companions so far. The thorough search of the ship will reveal the stowaway. Oh my gosh, can we do a thorough ship? We're gonna search the ship. I'm gonna find a stowaway. Come on, let me look at it. No? The food has become sentient! You should show Ida the- Ida, we know what the surprise is though. Rain already spoiled it. Uh, how do I find whoever's on my ship? Get out of my ship! Get out of my ship! What is this room? This is Juhani's room. That's the only reason it exists. Oh yeah! I do still have a stowaway in Andromeda! <laughs> Oh god, it's never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. I'm You think you're the soft powder of footsteps behind you, but when you stop to listen they disappear. Oh mission, hey, how's it going? Hey there. Uh never mind. Okay, have it your way. Good night, Anselagon. Cargo hold. I was in the cargo hold. Oh, but I gotta go back. <gasps> I gotta go back to the cargo hold now. Because they tried to walk past me. They walked past me. You think you're the soft powder of footsteps behind, but then disappear. Pacha! Nope, wrong room. Pacha! Now do I check the boxes? Larry's just slowly dying, but I'm sure you'll be fine.
This is the cargo hold, right? Yeah. Ah! Wait, wait, wait. Something was locked. Wait, we've already been in here. Um, I missed a room. I didn't go, I didn't go, whoop. Aha! Uh oh, okay. Walk into the whoop. Oh, that's the workbench. Come to the direction of the cargo hold. Who are you? Kipuna, Bona Nakichu. What is she? What? Uh, little girl, where'd you come from? Selima Wanga Kunbikin. Uh, I don't understand what you're saying. I still don't understand you. Uh, mm, what the journal entry? What the heck? You've encountered a young girl on board the Even Hawk. Obviously, a story. The language she speaks sound like Mandalorian, translates into pure gibberish. She may know the language, but she certainly doesn't know how to use it. And yet, it seems to be the only language she knows. It might be possible to try talking to her. But dumping her on the planet is also a possibility. Car, Candorous! Candor, Candorous! Come here! Yeah, what do you want? There's a girl! Yeah, help me with the stowaway problem! What? You think I don't have something better to do? No, you don't! You really don't! Yeah, what do you want? You get, get over here! What? Uh, I know you literally don't have anything better to do. You're still away. Um, where, who, where are you from? We need a translator. Tell me your name. Go. Oh. My name is Brinkar. You are ah. Sasha. Your name is Sasha. Uh, how'd you get on? Try to learn Sasha's strange language. Um. Uh, the many of the words you're speaking are Mandalorian. Bona Nakichu. That's your word for Mandalorian, so you do know of them. Um, uh, man, I, I did get the impression that Mandalorians are bad. Selima Wanga Um. Uh, are you a Mandalorian child? Kipuna. Oh, she's not. Uh, Sasha is a Mandalorian. Got it. But why don't you speak basic? Don't people lock their spaceships anymore? Hmm, okay. Um, uh, try to learn our language. Uh, everything is safe, is that it? The panel, uh, you sleep there. Lafaisi means sleep. Kipuna, bona nakichu. All of this is your home. Lafaisi, la, lastipa means home. Kipuna, bona nakichu. She doesn't understand basic. What's that? What's bridge tag? Dong abuk shami no nok. It's a thing. Something around here. Mucho uh, shakapaga. Don't understand what you're getting at. Kipa non tontek. Uh, it's your home? It means starship. The starship is her home. Uh, her name. I see you or you see me. 
Oh, so, so okay. Oh, you're hide. She's hiding in the. Mm. It's someone to see, but not so. Uh, so in is hide. Don't keep a non don't deck. I don't get all of it. Sure. She's hiding in the starship. It's your home. Mucho shakapaka. What is gone? Do Mucho shakapaka. What? Something about me, but what? Don abuk shami no no. Oh, woman or child? You're gone, do it. What? Mucho shakapaka. Oh, what is Mucho that? Shakapaka. That? I don't know. Or is that that? Abuk. I. It's me. It's something you like. Ah, it means you like it. Mucho shakapaka. You like me. I understand. Selima wanga kunbikim. Oh my gosh! You said that when I first found you. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Ah, means hit. Kipuna. Abs is to hurt. Nah, abs means not hurt. Is that it? This is fun. I understand. No, I won't hurt you. Oh boy. Wow. Why this? How long is this gonna go? Is uh, what word is that? It's a part of the ship. A room. Oh, you want food? Is that all one phrase? Uh, it means floor? You're not speaking now. Nugis means now. Now Nugis is not now or before. You want some food now? What does that mean? <laughs> You want me to speak? What about? Tell me about me. Tell me about, tell me about me. You want to know about me? Communicate with Sasha in her language. Why are you hiding on my ship? You came to the ship before. You were very scared. Why? You left the Mandalorians and hid here on the ship. You don't want to leave. The Ebonhawk is your home. Ooh, Sashu's lurking now. Welcome to the lurking, lurking zone. Dong abuk shami no nok. The Ebonhawk. Wait. Ooh, uh, why are you scared of the Mandalorians? Why are you scared of the Mandalorians? Kipuna, bona na kichu. My pizza's here. I bet she's a slave. Ugh. Took you before and hurt you. Selima wanga kunbikim. I love how quickly I am, um, I'm picking up this language that doesn't mean anything. This is like it. <laughs> hmm. You sleep here? Hmm. Um. It's not your first home. Now at your home before. Dantooine? What? We were just on Dantooine. How did she... We literally were on Dantooine. And then she was like kidnapped by Mandalorians. I don't understand. Alright, gonna cut it off there after that amazing linguistic experience we just had. So thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.